finally peaceful and quiet. All the tourists have gone back. From our little town of 947, we are quite hustling and bustling in the summertime. Sometimes up to 10,000 people are here. But I thought I'd take you on a little garden tour today. My gardens. I maybe should have done this sooner this year, but I love my new landscaping. Here's one of the limelight hydrangeas that start out a really light yellow and into pink and then a darker pink. But it's so quiet. You can just hear the wind today. Though it is very, very warm today. It's supposed to get to 89. It's almost there already. So our landscaping did well. Had it put in in May. And it's growing beautifully. And I just have to show you the sedum plants that I've just taken off lately. And the bees, the bees love, love, love the sedum. They're all over the place. Look at them. I think some of those are even honeybees on there. And my rock wall, which that's the window to the lower level of our home is where I have my Joyful Paws studio. And I can't wait to hold some more sew collage workshops there in the near future. Again, though, it's just, I am just relishing in the quiet. The kids are back in school today. The tourists have all gone home. I think all the locals breathe a sigh of relief and welcome our small town back just for us. Here's my writing cottage. I think we miss Gidget. She's laying in the lawn soaking up the sun. You know wiener dogs, they love the sun. The hotter the better. So here is the front of my writing cottage. I think it's really happy today too with all the quiet. And I'm just going to take you onto the other side. This would be the west side of my writing cottage. Some more hydrangeas. Aren't they beautiful? I love the big blossoms on them. And here we come around my writing cottage onto our deck, our chiminea where we love to have fires on the weekend. More of my new landscaping. I'm really happy with how well it did this year. First year can be kind of nerve-wracking. Of course, it's got to make it through winter. I think it will. And there is my cherry blossom tree. Can't wait to see it in spring with all the cute little pink flowers that will be on it. And my roses are just about done. But you have to see, there's always a little surprise in the garden, isn't there? One last rose. Well, maybe there'll be more yet, but look at that one, making an appearance. It's so happy, just like me, on this quiet, quiet first day of, well, not first day of September, first day of the kids back in school and everybody on their way. That's it.